Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video of functions in Spark, we are going to talk about another very important function which is a split function. Now this function is also very commonly used on day to day basis in our normal, you know, uh, transformations. We do use the split function and essentially when we talk about split function, what exactly it is. So let's say you have a string right in a column let's say you have a column and you have a data inside that column and that data is a string column in that case if you want to segregate the data if you want to split the data right based on a particular value right in that case you can go ahead and implement the split function so it is a very commonly used function you have a string column and you want to split it right using you want to split that split the data present inside that string using any uh, you know special character which is present inside it or any word which is present inside that particular string if you want to split it if you want to segregate the data you can go ahead and use the split function so let's move on to the databricks portal and see exactly how the split function works so here we are first of all i'm going to give you an sql example uh, then we are going to move with the Python example and then we are going to move with the Scala example. So we are actually going to cover it in all the three languages, right? So when we talk about SQL, what you see on the screen command five, right? Select split, right? Split is the function. Bhavna space Bedi, that is the string. So that is the data that you have. Now your column can also have the same data, right? And then comma and this particular space that is there inside the double quotes now this is the segregator i want to segregate i want to split the string named as bhavna baby using the space so it means whenever it sees a space between the string that i have uh, you know placed over here it is going to segregate the data right so the moment i use this function what happens it is it segregates bhavna and baby because of the space and I have given the separator as well with space now once it segregates it segregates it I am trying to fetch the first value the first value is Bhavna right using this indexing right I am trying to fetch the first value Bhavna as the first name similarly I am trying to split Bhavna Bedi again and I am trying to fetch the second value right i'm trying to fetch the second value or the second index using the index saying i'm trying to fetch the second value as a last name and this is how we get the data so this is the functioning of split function in sql so this was a very basic and you know it helps in understanding so that is why i started with sql now i will move to the python and we will see how we can do the same thing in python when we have the data so first of all uh, you know i wanted to import column and the split functions right i wanted to import column and split functions because these are the functions which i am actually going to use so i just imported these functions first after that i created a data frame right spark.create data frame using this spark.create data frame api i created a data frame and this data frame is nothing but this is the data which is present inside my data frame a.b.c d.e.f and i named my column as the split column and then i'm just simply displaying my data frame i'm just simply displaying my data frame so if you look here a b a dot b dot c this is string then again d dot e dot f this is nothing but this is string so this is how my data looks like now similarly in your data frame in your input file in your input data set you can have a column like this separator need not to be the dot it can be any any separator right now in this case what you will do what i'm trying to do i am using this data frame which has the split column i am using with column now with column is a function uh, which is basically used to add a new column and it is not just used to add a new column it is used for multiple things but right now here we are using this with column to add a new column and we are naming the new column as the new column only so this is the name of the new column which is new column and then we are saying that this new column should be created by splitting right it should be created by splitting the split column right i'm using the split function over here and i'm passing in my column name which is nothing but the split column and then i am saying it it's splitted based on this 
dot separator now to do that you have to put in these sashes two sashes you need to put in that is the syntax right and then you need to do uh, then i'm just doing a display so the moment i do a display you can see that the split what it has done it has returned an array right from a string right from a string i have used split function on that particular string column and i have given the separator and in the output it has given me a new column which is an array data type you can actually see an array of strings so all elements are string and this is an array now what we can go ahead and do is we can take the individual elements out and we can create you know any transformation on top of it now to do that as well you can see the command four so what i'm saying for i in range zero to three so now i already know that i have three columns so i have given the length as a uh, basically three here so for i in range zero to three i am saying that date data frame is equals to data frame dot with column create a new column for all the values which is coming inside it so zeroth value will be a like that right for all the values in the range of 0 to 3 right using this with column i am trying to create a new column right and then i am giving the transformation for that new column i am saying that do what go inside this new column okay try to understand it what is happening i am saying go inside this new column and one by one fetch the first value right when i will be 0 the first value will be a when i will be 1 the second value uh, the second value will be b when i will be 2 the second value will be c right now when this will happen create a new column and the new column name will be new column 0 right because i will be 0 first then the second new column will be new column 1 then the third new column will be new column 2 right and for each of that column get a value what is the value df dot new column it will get the value from here df dot new co column and index 0 i will be 0 first it will get me a then i will be 1 it will get me b then i will be 2 it will give me c right and then this is how it is actually going to work right now if you look here and when i go ahead and display the data frame you can see right new column zero it created three columns new column zero new column one and new column two so in the first iteration basically it gave me a then the other column it gave me b then it gave me c and similarly for the other values as well so basically if you see here what we have done we have split the column using split function now moment we split the column using split function we got an array now we can go ahead and fetch the values from this particular array and we can even create new columns from the values that we have fetched like this so do practice this on your own as well that is when you are actually going to understand it so this is how you can use a split function in python now i'm going to move to the uh, scala version of it now again uh, for the scala version i basically imported uh, i just ran these import statement because i again wanted to you know import um, split and call from the sql functions now the very first thing uh, i have two examples in scala so basically if you see here the very first thing what i'm doing is i'm creating a data frame over here data frame is nothing but email and the student id right so i am first creating a data frame here and data frame is nothing but it has two columns named as email and the student id and i have just the data like this and this is my data frame now i am going to split my email giving this at the rate symbol i am splitting my email giving this at the rate symbol now how do i do that you can see that df dot with column right new column i'm creating a new column and the transformation that i'm giving for the new column is this i'm saying split it split what split my email column split my email column and this email column is coming from this data frame split it based on what based on this at the rate right and you have to put these uh, slashes because this is the syntax and then i'm saying get me the zeroth index zeroth index basically means the value before at the rate right if you make it one it is nothing but value after at the rate right and then i am displaying this data frame so now if you see it created a new column 
right it had split it email based on at the rate and it had fetched me the zeroth index which is the value before the first value after uh, you know after segregating it or splitting it based on at the rate so this was your scala example now again i'll give you one more scala example right now if you look here what i have done i have again created a data frame now i am not going into the basics on how to create a data frame in scala and all so i have created a lot of other videos in uh, databricks on how to create data frame in python how to create a data frame in scala you can always go ahead and check those videos out now if you see here i have created this data frame id name last name and year okay so basically it's a random data so do not worry about what kind of data it is it is just a random data so year if you see year is a string column over here i have given year as a string column now if i open it also you can actually see here all the values are string except for id right everything is a string so this year is nothing it's a string now i want to segregate the year right based on this comma now how do i do that i am saying df1 this data frame the, the, this particular data frame that has id name last name and the year column take this data frame with column create a column named as temp split the column year based on this comma separator now once you do the split right what to do next select right now whatever i did at the top for the python right using for loop right the same thing i'm trying to do here using map right then i'm saying dot select 0 until 3 right it is equivalent to my uh, range function right it is equivalent to my range function right and then i'm saying map i right column temp get item i so basically here what is happening same thing which happened in python so i will iterate from 0 to 3 it will iterate from 0 to 3 and then what it will do it will go to the temp temp is nothing but this year column which is segregated right this ea column gets segregated as an array and then what happens is my map operation over here it will go ahead and take each and every item from my year array which gets created after splitting this year based on comma it will go ahead and it will take 1988 then it will take 234 then it will take 523 and it will create a column right with this name now what is this name call uh, call dollar symbol i i will be first zero then one then two right so it is going to create columns uh, uh, you know in this data frame it is going to add column column zero column one column two and for each of these column this map operation will go ahead and it will take using get item right using get item it is going to take each and every value from my year array which gets created now how does array gets created array gets created because of this statement where i'm splitting my year column based on the comma and when i display this data frame right you can actually see what has happened over here right now column 0 got created column 1 got created column 2 got created now each of these column basically if you see they have the data over here the same data got segregated over here right so i hope you like this video you understood these concepts and do replicate it on your own systems in your databricks instance that is when you are actually going to learn it and thank you so much for being till here do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel so that i keep coming on with the you know such good content thank you so much